Hi there, it's Jeff. Welcome to those who are new to my channel and those who are following me. In this little video, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to chisel out for a butt hinge. Now, for those who are beginners or novice uh, woodworkers that may find this a little bit daunting, well, don't be afraid, it's really easy. And I'll show you how easy it is with a couple of sharp chisels and I'm going to share with you a pro tip on how I get this chiseling out nice and flat so your butt hinge sits in there perfectly. So keep watching and I'll go through this with you step by step. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a brass butt hinge. And this could be simulating that I'm doing, uh, I'm hinging a, a door on a door jam here or for a box for a project or something, the lid, it doesn't really matter. Just you're getting the, the butt hinge there and I'm just outlining and marking, you know, the length of the, of the hinge just with a sharp pencil, just squaring those lines across. And then I'm going to be using a marking gauge also, which you'll see, uh, just to do the length of the hinge. And the proper way to use this actually is just getting the points, setting it up to the, the width of uh, your hinge there, to your, bark, to your marks, and just putting a point at, at both ends. And then you can drag your marking gauge from one end to the other and your point should actually fall back into the point that you've just marked preventing which prevents you from sort of going too far and and leave and extending that line further than what you want because you don't want to see that line go past your hinge Okay, when it comes to the chiseling procedure, I'm going to get a wide chisel and I'm just going to place it just on the inside of my lines that I've marked because the, the chisel will tend to drift because it's got a, an edge on it. And just carefully, just tapping that down, not too deep, just to leave an, a, a nice good impression and I'm going to be uh, following my lines all across. And for that back one, because I've used a marking gauge, it's already scored a little bit of a, a groove into your uh, timber. So it's easier for your chisel to actually fall into. And you just to tap it into place and chisel that down also. So this is the first step, just uh, using your chisel and just hitting it lightly all the way around on your markings and then I'm going to get another smaller chisel you can use the same one actually but I've just grabbed a smaller one and I'm just going to do these little markings um, across as you can see this is just going to help to remove all that waste because this is what you call the waste material that we need to remove this will just help in that process as you'll see as we go along it, again you don't need to go too deep then returning back to my wider chisel and turning it upside down to remove a little bit of a, of waste from both ends. I'm going to start right down the end here. Use one of those relief cut marks that I've just done and, and work towards the, uh, the end there. And just doing it from both sides now. And then I will set up the pairing block which you'll see next. Okay, next, this is uh, my pro tip here, using uh, what we call a pairing block. Now what this is, is just a nice square bit of hardwood stock. Uh, you want to make sure it is uh, something out of hardwood because it's, it's more durable and the chisel's not going to easily uh, bruise it or even hack into it also when you're trying to, to use it. But it's just make sure, making sure you've at least got uh, two sides that are nice and square. 
And I'm just going to, as you can see here in the video, I'm just lowering it. So uh, when I place my chisel onto that pairing block, that it's pretty much flush with the top surface. And that's just going to give me that uh, depth gauge, basically, of, of how, how deep to actually uh, below my, my line where I want that pairing block. So once this is uh, set accurately, then I'm just tightening up those clamps as you can see in the photos. Next step here now is to use this pairing block as a guide for your chisel to rest flat on. And as you can see, just working your way nice and slowly, especially when you uh, make your way over towards that back line. You don't want your chisel to slip and go over and then um, you're causing splinters and uh, t tearing out that that back line of your of your hinge otherwise it, it'll, it won't look as nice but as you can see here in the video you can get the idea that that chisel has got something nice and flat and square to to work along and just using the corner of your chisel a little bit at a time don't try to take the whole lot at once just a little bit just just a little bit at a time work your way nice and slowly uh, working your way to that back line to remove that waste. Well, there you go. That wasn't so bad, was it? I know that I probably made it look easy, but you know what? Give it a go and try my technique using a nice square pairing block. It just gives more support for your chisel to sit on and go into your workpiece nice and square. And you'll end up with a, a more uh, flat baseline there for your uh, butt hinge to sit onto giving you a little bit more of a nice result. Well, that just about wraps this video up. Don't forget to share and subscribe to keep up to date with our, my latest videos. And hopefully I will see you in our next one.